Say nay. All right. All right. The motion carries. Um, uh, we're asking for city staff. So the motion is to bring back uh, the ordinance for discussion on the 4th of August. So all in favor say aye. 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 Um, and the governor of Texas recently came out, issued a masking order. Um, and then in, in a lot of his interviews basically said, we've got to get these numbers under control. Um, if we don't get these numbers under control, I'm going to have to go back and issue another stay-at-home order. So there's a there's a big thing occurring here in this location. Um, Salt cities, Houston, Dallas, and that area, um, starting to say the same thing again. Seeing it in Florida, and, and so I say this because you know I talked to you all last time about the numbers and what impact the numbers really have in terms of how we continue to move forward. Um, um, and there's some anxious against this, a, it's a, risen to 4.84% um, as we've had more tests being produced. Uh, and then it's at 4.25. So this is sort. these are the numbers that they're looking at when you see a lot of those uh, executive orders and you hear the governor talk about this and what the transmission yeah, rate is. Two months, we didn't uh, do any, any update after the April collections. So, um, in general, um, we've um, we've been since COVID went into effect. We've gone through about four collection cycles. The first one was February, which sales had already taken place, but the collections were due on March 20th, and uh, those came in down 1.5 percent from the previous February. March was up six percent. April was then down 12.7 percent, and then last week we saw that May was up 1.6% over May of 2019. So it's after five months now, year to date, we are down 0.6% for our, our total sales and use tax. Right. Okay, anything else, Harold? All right, let's move on then to first call flag trade. Let's move on to special reports and presentations. The water bond ballot, sorry, those are my dogs. The water bond ballot question. Uh, the public information presentation. Uh, Mayor and uh, Mayor Bagley, members of council, uh, Dale Rademacher, Deputy City Manager, I'm gonna open up this this item for you tonight. Um, you know, the issue uh, before you tonight is really a presentation and to provide information to the City Council uh, in, in alignment with and following the direction that you gave us back on March 3rd to take steps to prepare for a potential ballot issue on the November 2020 ballot uh, regarding the issuance of, of uh, debt in our water utility. It's times like these where communities come together uh, to really focus on those key critical aspects of their infrastructure and to ensure uh, the future of them. Can you tell us, Don, how many are in the queue, real quick? There were eight, Mayor. All right, perfect. Caller 328, do you hear us? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, if you could state your line, name and address. The second expense for resisting arrest is $150. $150. We really don't think it's equitable to say that biking in the discount zone downtown should be twice as much um, as resisting arrest your second time around. Vacation. Thank you for bringing up the short-term rentals into your conversation this week. Thanks for listening and helping us out. I hope you take into account property owners that have to deal with new guests in short-term rentals every week. And Great, and that will close. Uh, first call public invited to be heard. Let's move on with the consent agenda and introduction of reading by title of first ordinances. Um, I move the um, consent agenda uh, items um, 8A through, or I'm sorry, B, or B through e F minus the um, C. So no A, no C. I'll, I'll second that. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. All right, the consent agenda passes unanimously uh, without A and C.
just a general discussion. But David Bell, guide us, lead us, please. Mayor Bagley, um, Council Members David Bell, Director of Parks and Natural Resources. Um, really what we're trying to do and achieve this language is do what we really thought we had the ability to do all the time, which is dispose of certain aspects of open space property um, through our ordinance. And this language just clarifies that we have that flexibility and makes it look clearer. So the map that's in the, on the right hand side of the screen shows the boundaries of the city of Longmont, as well as the dots indicate the location of the short term rental that we currently have licensed in the city of Longmont. All right, we'll see you guys next time. We're done. Bye.